Hey everyone, Jeff here from Films at Home, and you might be sitting on some seriously valuable movies in your collection. Hey everyone, so thanks for coming back to the channel today for this video. In today's video, I'm going to cover some of the most valuable Blu-rays that you might have sitting in your collection right now that can make you hundreds of dollars on eBay. Now, I compiled this list doing a bunch of research over the last few weeks looking at eBay sold listings, which is always the best place to look for what something is actually worth. Don't look at the actual listing, look at the sold completed listings. And I compiled all this research together into this video so you guys will know if you're sitting on some super valuable Blu-rays. Now, if you are a collector, I just wanna clear up the fact that I won't be covering super high-end limited edition releases. There's some companies that make very limited uh, luxury box sets for movies. I'm not going to be covering those because those are obviously very expensive and sell for a lot of money for a reason. They're limited edition, they're luxury items. But instead, what I want to focus on is movies that the everyday collector or just the everyday person in general might have sitting in their homes that could be worth a couple hundred dollars. Now to kick things off, I'm not a huge anime person. In fact, I don't really get into anime at all. But I will say if you have anime DVDs or Blu-rays at your house, definitely look them up on eBay and see what they're worth because some of those were the highest priced items that I saw selling for five, six, seven hundred dollars or more. If you want to learn more about that, I'd say do your research, go to an anime YouTube channel, learn some more about that world. I'm not an expert there, but I have to mention that because those DVDs and Blu-rays can be worth an insane amount of money. Now for this list, the first one I'm going to start with is a Godzilla double feature that you might have in your collection, and it's Godzilla vs. Ghidorah and Godzilla vs. Mothra. It's a two-movie Blu-ray set from the Toho Godzilla collection, and I'm pretty sure this used to sell for fairly cheap because I have a handful of these double feature packs, and I remember only paying about $5. Now, today... This double pack in particular is very rare, hard to find, looks like it's now gone out of print so they aren't making any more, and you can find copies of this set selling on eBay for anywhere between $150 to $200 on the higher end. For sealed copies, you might even be able to get a little bit more, but even for a pre-owned copy, $150 is not out of the question, which is crazy for a disc that you might just have sitting around that you paid $5 for. Now, another movie that a lot of people may have because it was fairly popular, at least for people my age, grew up in the 90s, is Free Willy. Free Willy was a big deal. It came out in the middle of the 90s. I know I had a VHS copy. I think I had a DVD copy as well. Unfortunately, I don't have a Blu-ray copy in my collection, and I wish I did because if you hop on eBay right now, Free Willy is selling for, again, between $150 to $200 on Blu-ray. Most of the current listings are listed for $199, so it's trending a little bit upwards towards the $200 mark, and that's a crazy price for a movie that I assume a lot of people would have purchased on blu-ray when it was first released it's fairly popular it's a big family movie but for whatever reason it's now gone out of print is not in production anymore and has become one of those very rare hard to find titles that you could easily have sitting around your house another pretty popular movie that i can't believe is worth so much on blu-ray right now is my super ex-girlfriend it's a movie that came out in 2006 directed by ivan reitman stars uma thurman luke wilson Anna Faris and Rain Wilson, who played Dwight on The Office, it did like $80 million at the box office. This was a fairly big movie. It did pretty well. It's this superhero romantic comedy. And right now, the copies on eBay are selling for about $125 to $150. My guess is it's a 20th Century Studio title, and when Disney bought them, this one went out of print, which has happened with some of the 20th century fox movies so maybe it'll come back in print someday but if you have that one and you're not super connected to it i'd take advantage of that now and sell it because you can do quite a bit with 125 150 dollars to add to your collection or maybe just pay off some bills now if you're a collector these next two are some of the most like famous out of print movies that a lot of people chase but if you're not a collector you may not even realize that these are worth so much and the first one is dogma the kevin smith film that is notoriously hard to find on Blu-ray, and it has been out of print for a very long time. 
Copies routinely sell for over $100. Sealed copies can get you upwards of $150 or even closer to $200. And the crazy thing is that this was fairly popular and you can still find it at secondhand stores, pawn shops. I've seen other creators that I follow and other collectors who have found these at pawn shops for like $15, $20, even $30, which is a steal at that price point. The other one to keep an eye out for is Dead Alive, which is Peter Jackson's gore fest crazy horror movie. I think it's from 1989 or 1990. It was right in that time period, and that has been notoriously out of print and hard to find forever, and horror movie collectors often pay premiums for movies like that on disc, so you can expect to collect anywhere between like $90 to $110 if you find that disc or you have it in your collection. It's been rumored to be getting a re-release and coming to 4K for many years, but we still don't have it, and so it's still selling for a very high price online. A couple other movies that might surprise you given that there's really not much special about the movies themselves they just happen to be very valuable copies one is lucas 1986 it's a high school drama coming of age story actually made roger ebert's top 10 list for that year it was one of his favorite movies stars charlie sheen Corey Haim and has Winona Ryder's uh, breakout performance, her first performance on screen as an actress. This movie was fairly well reviewed. It got a lot of attention in the 80s. It had those big 80s names, Corey Haim, Charlie Sheen. And for whatever reason, that Blu-ray became very rare. I'm seeing copies sell online for anywhere between $150 to $175 for that Blu-ray copy, and it can get even higher than that for sealed versions. So if you have that one sitting around, that's definitely not one that I would have thought was so valuable, but I found out in my research is actually extremely sought after by quite a few collectors. In that same vein and worth about the same price, $150 to $200, is Airheads, the movie that starred Adam Sandler, Steve Buscemi, and Brendan Fraser which has been out of print on Blu-ray for some time. And I think with Brendan Fraser's recent sort of career renaissance, it's gaining some more steam and more people are looking for it. So the price has been driven up. I used to see them sell for about 100 to 150. Now they're selling for more like 150 to 200 dollars on eBay. So that's another extremely valuable Blu-ray of a movie that, you know, really isn't that special and you know, not a limited edition, nothing crazy about it but just happens to be one of those movies that became super rare and sells for great money on eBay that you may own. Now this next one, I had no idea even existed as a movie, never mind as a Blu-ray disc, but it's called At Long Last Love from 1975, I believe, and it stars Burt Reynolds and Sybil Shepard. It looks like it got terrible reviews. I had never heard of this movie before, but if you look it up on eBay, it's a $200 Blu-ray, if not a little bit more for sealed copies. I've never seen this one out at a store. I know I don't have it in my collection, but maybe one of you guys is a big fan of Burt Reynolds or maybe your parents were and bought this disc, you know, 15 years ago or something and it's sitting in a box. If it is, that's $200, $225 in your pocket if you put that on eBay because it seems to be one of the most rare Blu-rays based on sold listings that's out there right now. Now, if you're a fan of the Netflix series Stranger Things, there's a good chance you may have picked up their Target exclusive releases of their 4K and Blu-rays that they put out for seasons one and two. Season one is still fairly popular. It can be easily had for a decent price, but if you have the season two release of Stranger Things on 4K Ultra HD, that can sell for between $100 to $150 for a sealed copy. Pre-owned copies closer to $100, but that is now a very valuable set that I distinctly remember them putting on clearance for like eight bucks at Target, and I'm kicking myself for not having picked it up at the time thinking that one day we'd get a complete series set, which we may still get, but at this point, they haven't released anything past season two. And now to round things up, horror movies. I got a few horror movies for you that you should keep an eye out for in your collection. Horror movies do tend to be some of the most valuable long-term. Companies like Vinegar Syndrome or Shout Factory, Scream Factory, who I'll cover, they do these limited edition, uh, collector's edition releases, and they license the rights from other studios many times, and sometimes those rights run out, and so stuff goes out of print. But I'll give you an idea of some of the most valuable horror movies here that you can look for, starting with Slumber Party Massacre 2 and 3, which was a double feature Blu-ray that Shout Factory put out a few years back. Now, they recently... <clears throat> 
Now, they recently announced they're putting out Slumber Party Massacre 1 and 2 on 4K disc, but not number 3, which is what makes that double feature so expensive and so valuable. That one will get you $125, $150 if you own that in your collection. Another one to keep an eye out for is the Sleepaway Camp series. Sleepaway Camp 1, 2, and 3, and specifically if you have the cardboard slip covers. But even if you don't, those are still fairly valuable. But with those slip covers, they're extremely valuable, up to $100 each. I know that I purchased a set as a giveaway item on my channel, and it cost, I think, $280. I got all three of them with slipcovers. So that is a pretty valuable set if you have those. I actually do have them in my collection, which is why I bought them another set for the giveaway. I love them. I'd never sell them. But if you don't love the movies, you can make pretty good bank on them. And lastly, another couple to look out for from Shout Factory are the Human Centipede, the full sequence. I bought that box set and I own it. I think I paid $30. That now sells for about $125, $150 online because it's gone out of print and it's hard to find. The individual Human Centipede releases on Blu-ray are also fairly valuable in their own right, but a lot of people look for that full box set. And finally, this is one that you guys may have from the early days of Blu-ray, but it's one that I saved for last because personally, I've been looking for this one forever and I've never found it. I have found some of these on the list. Some of these are in my collection. Some of them I've bought, watched, and sold because I didn't love it. But I found a lot of stuff like Dead Alive at thrift stores. I have never found this one and it's Black Christmas from 2006. Now there's the original Black Christmas 1974 which launched the slasher genre really four years before Halloween. There was a remake, I think came out in 2019, which was kind of widely panned and nobody liked. But in 2006, there was also a remake of that movie. And I saw it in theaters in high school and loved it. And I've been wanting to watch it ever since. And for whatever reason, it has become notoriously difficult to track down. Now, of course, there's ways to get it online. You can sail the seven seas and find this. But if you want the disc like me, it's going to run you easily 150 if not closer to $200, which is crazy because it was a major studio horror movie release, which for whatever reason just went out of print and became very, very hard to find. If you guys have one, I'm all ears. I'd love to see it. But if you ever find one in stores, either keep it for your collection if you love it, or you can make yourself a nice little side hustle of a couple hundred bucks by putting that up on eBay and knowing horror collectors out there, it'll sell very fast. So that is the list of some valuable Blu-rays that you may have in your collection that you had no idea were worth so much. I hope that was helpful if you're looking for stuff at thrift stores, pawn shops, secondhand stores, flea markets. This is a great list to bring with you and keep in your notes. I used to have it in my notes app on my phone of like movies to look for that were out of print, that were hard to find, expensive. If I come across them, you know, which one should I be searching for? Um, that's always the thrill of the hunt. But if you have any of these in your collection, and you want to sell them off make a couple hundred bucks you can buy yourself like 10 or 15 movies you really want for that if you sell it for $200 you know a movie you don't really care about that seems like a no-brainer to me and if you've got that Black Christmas let me know because I'd love to get my hands on it but whether you're a collector or not hopefully this list was helpful and you know what to keep an eye out for in stores what to look for in your collection or in your storage bins and how you can get some decent money on eBay by finding these titles so thank you for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this if you want more movie collecting physical media home entertainment content like this please subscribe to the channel here I'd really appreciate that you can also find my podcast the films at home podcast on all your favorite podcast audio apps like apple podcasts or spotify i'll leave a link down in the description to that and it's also on youtube in video format there is a films at home podcast playlist so if you want to check out all the video versions of the episodes go do that i really appreciate the support in my new little venture there as a creator as always make sure you follow me on social media as well those links are down in the description as well as all of my discount codes and partner links and ways that you can get free credits and discounts on merch that you guys care about so i appreciate the support there and so do my partner Partners, and I really appreciate you guys watching this video first and foremost. So thank you. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe. Stay healthy out there. Happy hunting for these movies. And I'll talk to you soon.